let's pretend like we have a brand new WordPress site. We have no plugins in it, nothing whatsoever. So now we need to figure out, well, how do we get the plugin files? Well, we do that by going over to the WordPress plugin directory. And we can do that in a couple of ways, but it is located at wordpress.org slash plugins. Now we head over there and the home screen of this is really centered around a search bar. And that's perfect for our case because we're gonna just type in the events calendar and it should pop up, there it is. And we can go ahead and click on that. And now instead of the activate option that we said before, or that we saw before, we now see that we have a download option. And because we're not in the WordPress admin, this makes sense, right? Like we can't just activate something that we're not actively on. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that download button. It's gonna to save to my desktop. And when it saves to my desktop, what we're gonna see is that it's in a packaged zip folder. Now a zip folder is just a fancy way of, of taking a bunch of files and putting them into one compressed folder to make them the smallest size possible. That way it's like not as much to download, not as much to unpack. And that is what we need um, is the zip file to install it to the server. So it looks like the download has finished, uh, is finished here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to double click on this because that's going to open up the zip file and and take out what's inside of it. In this case, it's a folder uh, that has the events calendar in it. And that's perfect. That's exactly what we need. Now, in some cases, your computer, when it downloads a zip file, might automatically extract it for you. And so this folder may be actually what downloads to your desktop. So if that's you, don't worry about this whole zip file thing, because that just means that your operating system is opening zip files on, on your behalf. So it just kind of cuts a step out for you, and that's pretty nice. Okay, so for just a moment now, I want you to pretend like we just opened up an FTP application. You know, we're no longer in WordPress at this point, but we've opened up, um, you know, some sort of application, whether it's Transmit for Mac or FileZilla for, for Windows or some other uh, software that you use to upload files to your server. Let's pretend like that's what you just opened up. So what you would normally do is log into your server through the FTP application, select your site from the server, and then you're gonna go to where the WordPress is installed on your server. In this case, for me, that's right here in the top level HTML file of this particular site. So right now you can see that we have all the core WordPress files, including what we really want, which is this WP content folder. That's the magic folder that contains everything that we need uh, because there's plugins, there's themes, there's uploads from the media library. This is where everything really happens. And this is where we can take that file or that folder that we extracted from the zip file that we downloaded. And we can just like simply drag that in, drop it. And now technically the plugin is installed on our server. So if we were to go back, we could go to that plugin screen and see the events calendar now installed on our site. So here we are back in the WordPress admin. And again, we're on the plugin screen. You know, again, we get here from plugins, install plugins or, or add new, whatever the, the case is, we have just uploaded that folder that we downloaded to our server in the plugins directory of, uh, of where WordPress is installed. And now we can just refresh this and look, it's kind of like magic there is now the events calendar is installed there, just like we did before when we could do it through the work through the plugins directory. But now, instead of, uh, of, of seeing that's already activated, we need to actually click the activate option there. And that enables the events calendar. So now we can even see right here. Now events is available as an option here. And we have all the affordances here that the plugin offers. Mm -hmm.